Hi, my name is Drew. I'm a student pilot, and this is my journey. Come along with me as I finish my flight training in Phoenix, Arizona. Today is week seven of my flight training out here in Phoenix. It's a quick little recap. Week six, I was able to go home for a little bit, so I started off this week, day one, traveling back out to Phoenix. Day two, I had to complete and submit my final exam for my ground school. It was uh, such a relief to be over and done with that. And now we can just focus on the fun parts, which is actually um, finishing all of the, the flight requirements and um, all of that. So yeah, we don't have to worry about sitting in any classes, any exams, uh, that is all done until we complete our, um, our private pilot, like once we get a private pilot license. Day two, we also had a safety meeting um, where our school takes safety very serious. So we had a meeting with our safety board to go over um, some things, just kind of a standard quarterly meeting. I went over uh, things to, that we can and can't do on the ramp, such as making sure that we wear our safety vests out there. We're not running, we're not texting on our phones, we're watching, looking around, and those kinds of things. Um, and then afterwards, after the meeting, uh, me and some of my classmates, we just hung out for a little bit, sitting there chit-chatting, kind of shooting the breeze, and just kind of catching up and chilling. Uh, day three, I had a oral briefing with my instructor uh, where we went over how to do our cross-country nav logs. Uh, nav logs are basically kind of our uh, you know, Google Maps of the sky. We have to figure out how to how we're going to complete a flight, making sure that we pick a path that we won't run into anything, um, that we're not flying into anywhere that we aren't supposed to be. Um, as well as we actually calculate how long it's going to take us to get there, how much fuel we need, and those kinds of things. I'll probably do a video eventually, kind of showing exactly what a nav log is and how to complete one. Um, but yeah, so we had that briefing. The next day I didn't have anything going on um, for day four, day five. Um, also not a whole lot going on. I always have my friends just to chill and relax a little bit. Uh, nothing going on day six either, um, but then day seven was my first cross country flight um, where I had to use what I learned on day three with my nav log um, and complete a nav log before the flight. That flight ended up getting canceled. Um, as the case with most students, struggle to make sure that it was completed correctly. So you know, canceling the flight and then spending the rest of the time uh, going back over it, um, really making sure that I knew how to complete it. Um, at my old school before this, we didn't really do nav logs. We just kind of put everything into floor flight. And um, that kind of gave us essentially our nav log. So it was different having to actually do the calculations and all that other stuff. Um, so it was good practice. So that was all for week seven. So I started this series basically to document my journey and how I am going about uh, becoming a commercial pilot. There are so many different ways that people can become a pilot. This is just one of them. And quite frankly, this is probably the way that worked out the best for me. Uh, thanks for tuning in and following along on my journey. Hope to see you next week for week eight. Bye. <laughs> Um, so if you're, well, I don't even know really what I'm trying to accomplish here. So 